da 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 Hi, you might think that I'm Lucio Ball. Well, I hate to break it to ya, but Lucio Ball has passed away a long ass time ago. Media, I told you. I'm the one who's supposed to start the vlog. Uh, does that mean that I've got some explaining to do? No, the situation is pretty much straightforward. Yeah! Ah, you're like an old married couple. And I guess that makes me the bratty little kid. I don't like being the brat. I want to be the cool guy. Well, you're doing a very bad job. I'm sorry, technical boy, but media is right. And besides, we're supposed to be a unit. We're supposed to play as a team. We can't be fighting each other when we have a common enemy. I know, I know. The old gods. Ugh. They're disgusting and gross and old. No, 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 no. Bad, technical boy. Bad. None of that. None of that in this household. You don't understand me. You don't tell me what to do. And I say that those old gods are valuable and they should not be insulted because even though we have officially declared war with them, they are still a very valuable asset to us. At least the ones who are still willing to convert. Have we forgotten about Biliquis? Oh yeah, she's the old god who learned some new tricks. She's the one I recruited. And maybe someday she'll gain enough experience as one of us new gods to be on this vlog. I don't see what's so special about vlogging. I do it all the time. After all, I am technical boy. This is all rudimentary to me. It's like playing patty cake. I need a technology-based activity that will challenge me. Do you want another slap in the face? I swear to me, if you threaten me with abuse one more time... Oh, technical boy, stop overreacting, alright? We're just expressing tough love. Plus, you can take it. Because you are a fucking god. Hey, you know damn well that David Bowie would never curse like that in his music. Oh, you don't like my interpretations? <laughs> Media, don't encourage him, alright? We need to set a good example with him. Hey, would you cut this crap? I'm technically older than both of you. You are the goddess of media and you are the god of globalization. And neither of those things would be possible without me, the god of freaking technology. Well, that's your fault for deciding to take the form of a hipster millennial. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yes, technical boy, I am definitely younger than you. Oh, if only you knew. Knew what? Hey, it's not my fault you haven't read the book that this show is based on. Eh, if you haven't read the book, then you're probably just along for the ride. And you're also probably confused as to whether or not this has to do with DC. I mean, Neil Gaiman, sure, yeah, he's associated with them, but what really throws them off is the name New Gods. 
Well, I'm sorry to burst their bubble, but we are not those types of new gods. Because those aren't even gods to begin with. They're just really super powerful aliens. What we are, are actual new gods. As opposed to the old, irrelevant gods. Because once we're done with them, they'll be all dead gods. <laughs> Which is really sad, too. Because they had their chance to convert to our side, but they all refused. Hey, there's a few gods in the book we haven't gotten to yet. Oh, so you have read the book. Yeah, I just read the Wikipedia page, but I did not read the spoilers. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's good, because, because you're in for a doozy. Wait a minute, what the hell? Oh, oh, you, you weren't supposed, supposed to see, see that. that. Oh, oh, you, you saw, saw nothing. nothing. You, you saw, saw nothing. nothing. It's probably just one of your various outfits. What? You're the one to talk. Hey, I'm the embodiment of technology. And do you know what technology is notorious for? Always changing. Always upgrading. Never staying the same. And whoever wants to stay with the old model can kiss my ass. Because that's how technology works, baby. Ooh, sick burn. He's got you there, Mr. World. Yeah, you haven't really embodied globalization yet. I mean, sure, you've brought people together, but you've really got to work on that on Season 2, you know? M m maybe show yourself moving from place to place more often, you know? Always moving, never stopped. That's how you embody a concept. Don't tell me how to be a god, technical boy. That's what we're doing with the old gods that we're recruiting. Yes, and I'm afraid that we won't be able to recruit any more. Biliquis is the last one. Hey, recruiting the goddess of sex ain't too shabby. But I get what you're saying. It would have been nice to still have the god of weaponry on our side. Hmm, yes, it's all about converting. He used to be the god of just fire, but it doesn't really have much of a place in modern times, like us, which is why he is now the god of weapons. Or at least he was, until he was slain by Odin. Uh, like I said, Gross old gods. I, 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 except for Biliquis. And to think we almost had Easter on our side. Yes, we were so close to having access to an army of Jesuses. Do you know how epic and powerful we would have been? Eh, those Jesuses die real easily. Hey, hey. You're probably going to trigger someone in the comment section. What? We've already triggered people with the very idea that Jesus himself isn't a god. He's just an extension of a god that most people don't believe in anymore. I think we're equal opportunity. After all, we tackled Islam using gay sex. Yes, yes, very progressive sex, but we need to focus on making sure that things are more eventful in the next season, alright? What? Everyone loves the Game of Thrones formula, where you barely do anything in each season. It's just set up. 
that's not the part that they like. They like the character development within all of that set up. But that cannot be what we keep relying on. If we're going to keep adapting this source material act by act, then we need to add a little bit more to it. You know, make it feel like more of an eventful story. That means that Media is going to have to improve her act. What, what, what do you mean by that? Don't get me wrong, you've shown a lot of range throughout this season, but if you want to be the god of all of media, then you need a wider range, okay? You cannot just stick to the types of roles that Jillian Anderson would be comfortable playing. You gotta get her out of the comfort zone. Oh, I see what you're saying. So... How about this? Did you not hear what I said? Out of her comfort zone. Out. How about this icon? You get a leprechaun, and you get a leprechaun, 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 you get a genie, but with a giant penis. Okay, I admit, that is out of the comfort zone. Jillian Anderson would have a moral dilemma over whether or not she should go blackface. But no, it needs to be more challenging. Ho ho, how about this? Ho ho! Um, I'm not sure if Disney would allow that. Oh, don't be silly. We're literally the be-all, end-all authorities of the world. Someone should tell that to all of the other supervillains who do this vlog. I mean, everything that they do is pretty much pointless when they realize that they're sharing vlogs with frickin' gods. Oh, just let the little humans have their fun. They don't deserve to be swept up in all of this. They keep worrying about death. Meanwhile, we actually know death. We tried to recruit him, but no. He's on the old gods' side, so he's going down in the great war of gods. Oh, oh, I keep forgetting how epic it's gonna be, a war of gods. Well, congratulations, Mom and Dad, for realizing what you both need to improve on. Now, hold on just one minute. What about what you need to work on? Where's the beef? Hey, I'm completely perfect as it is. I don't know, technical boy. You kind of disappointed a lot of people when you turned out to be this skinny young millennial instead of the fat, gross, video game geek that you were described as in the book. Oh, I had a feeling this would be brought up, and here's my rebuttal. The book was made almost 20 years ago. Back then, the worst type of nerd was the acnea-ridden basement dweller who lived with his parents and was morbidly obese. But guess what? Times have changed. That is no longer the most negative aspect of nerds. Now it's hipsters. I'm a hipster now. As long as you continue to gross out the viewers, it'll just be in a different way than when you were fat and ugly. Yeah, they won't be grossed out by how I look, they'll be grossed out by how I act and my disgusting personality. Okay, sure. If that's what you want to keep telling yourself, keep being eye candy. And that's the way it is. See? Now that is something Jillian Anderson can work with.